Let's face it, most surf movies have the best surfers, the best locations, and the best conditions. This is not that surf movie. This is the story of seven friends who have spent hours, weeks, and even years dreaming of their own adventure. Then one weekend, they asked themselves, if not now, when? We will travel from border to border and stop every day to surf in 14 counties that make up California's coastline. On our last day, we will participate in an event that gives back to the surf community. California has some of the most diverse surf in North America. From the giant rocky waves at Mavericks to the warm long waves of Malibu. We are stepping away from our everyday life and responsibilities with one goal in mind. I'm Haley, the only girl on the trip, which sometimes comes with a mom-like responsibility. My brother Trevor is the guy who's all play and no work. He's the youngest, so he makes some decisions that I don't always agree with. The two of us grew up with our cousin Griffin, who just finished his contract with the Marines. He has returned with a new appreciation for life and finds the good in everything. He'll be the one who takes a situation to the next level, whether it be a good old joke or a personal challenge. This is my boyfriend Adam, the go-to guy, always willing to save the day, even though he's not sure what he's doing. I always know what I'm doing, and I'm the fix-it guy. If it works, it works. If not, I'll guess again. My brother Kyle is that fun, crazy guy that everyone likes to be around. He's the oldest in the group and claims he won't be able to keep up with us youngsters. And he'll be just fine. I've been best friends with Ben Haight since high school. He started surfing with us a year ago, but then he had a hernia. Now he's been out of the water for three months and he's concerned about the setback. I know he'll be fine because he's the guy who never gives up. My name is Chargonius. I am the only, only child of this group. I haven't known everybody for very long, but they treat me like family, for better or worse. And the last member of our group is our RV. We picked this beauty up for $1,000. She's a 25-footer made in 1978. We gutted her out, made her ready for the beach, put on a fresh paint job, and named her Hard Chillin'. Looks like we're ready for the road. So we're here at my house, everyone met up, we're getting ready to go, we're packing all the boards, and uh, we're getting out of here. We're getting on the road, heading up to Northern California. It's way too early. I'm gonna tape that area off, and it's gonna be, if food is here, Ben will eat. No, that's the one thing I didn't do, I didn't take my fins off. We're gonna take our fins off, because a lot of us forgot to do it. <laughs> Finally ready for the day that we've been waiting for for so long. And of course, I brought my girlfriend. <laughs> Are they a bunch baby. of idiots? Mmm, kind of. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We're getting them all in. We're figuring out how to pack 15 boards in a in one RV. Ow! Have fun, y'all. Bye. Uh, wait, is Trevor inside? Who cares? Let's go. Trevor! Oh, you're Yeah, go. Punch it. Is this for real? Are we going, dude? This is for real. This is for real. Yeah. Here, there goes on three hundred dollar ticket. Immediately got pulled over by a cop. I ran the tail end of the light. We just left. <laughs> right now, we just walked out. As I'm getting it, I look over and there's a giant leak leaking out of the back of the RV. Hey, can somebody just have some tools ready for me? I can't leave back here yet. I need like pliers and a flathead screwdriver right when he's done. I'm not really sure. I just know there's gas in the back now. <laughs> Everyone got out and we started fixing the uh, leak. He hooked us up with a free ticket. Bob again, all fixed. All right, yeah. 450 bucks. Yeah, I think and your insurance. Yeah, three something. <laughs> I'm gonna well, an RV though, right? See this gauge? If this thing gets to 250, that's bad. But the, the whatever it is, the low gear sounds like it's misfire. Are we already overheating? Yeah. We hit 250 a second ago. Far away, or never to come back. Any day. They took uh, so today we were driving up to Northern California to start the trip. Pretty brutal on the road, and we were just aching for some water. And luckily, Adam just found this random spot out in the middle of this town called Lindsay. There's a wave house. Oh! 
This is sick. Mix of skimboarding and wakeboarding and snowboarding. It's figured might not be too hard. Yeah, dude, this is gonna be awesome. Alec jumped on first try. And he was doing all these cool maneuvers, and I was like, oh man, I could do that, no problem. And you think it's gonna hurt? No. <laughs> Every single one of us ate shit right off the bat. I was like, Bambi learning how to walk is definitely not as easy as it seemed. Honestly, one of the hardest things I've ever tried. First, first try, I'm done. Hit his shoulder really hard and uh, he's out of commission, man. Carl with his old man body broke a hip or something, I don't know. I just went and got Ben Gay and I got some uh, Bayer aspirin. I feel like I got beat with a baseball bat right now. But after a while, we got the hang of it. People started doing a little better. They started understanding you know, that there are no fins on these boards and uh, we started doing great. Overall, I think we did all right. That was pretty cool to see everyone just going full speed at it. I think we broke a board. I don't even know how you go about breaking one of those little boards. You want fun? Yeah, it was awesome. So we just finished riding the man-made waves. It's 100 and way too hot here. Let's get the hell out of here. I saw that fire truck pulled up and I really didn't think it was for us, but it is. Well, let's start some fires. <laughs> uh, we got a gas leak. I guess uh, we were trying to fill it up, but somebody noticed that we were leaking. It's a lot, and then, uh, yeah, it's it's definitely gasoline. It's time for a plane ticket. I haven't even started. Oh, look at Baby Newt's shoulder. So that's our main gas line in. Okay. We're okay for now. Thank you, sir. Uh, we just pretty much did what we could to make the firefighters happy, and we're about to get out of here. One ticket, two gas leaks, I'm ready to get to the beach. I want to be able to say that I've done it. I just hope I have a great time with my friends and everything goes smooth and uh, that I have a blast surfing and yeah, that I get barreled. I'm really gonna miss my girlfriend a lot. That's gonna be a really hard thing to go without. Well, it was definitely a good time to go. I was just getting out of the military. I really just want to have a good time. So. I'm excited that this is for real. I've been dreaming about it for nine, 10 years, and this couldn't be a better time in my life to go and share this with my friends. I really hope to just like gain a better knowledge and an understanding on just life and happiness. And I'm excited about the unknown, and that is exactly what this trip's about. On this trip, I'm really looking forward to uh, just chilling. Hey guys, if we leave before half an hour, we don't have to pay. Goodbye, California. Uh -huh. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, California. Uh -huh. A dream of California can't Trip has officially started now. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like that's sick. Or even down there, that left down there is sick. See that dorsal fin out there? You see it or no? No. Fuck, oh, dude. Let's go. There's no dorsal fin, you dummy. What? There's no dorsal fin, you dummy. I saw one. Hey, guess what? We're surfing Del Norte. <laughs> Yeah.
uh, a couple months prior to even leaving up here, I've been getting like really nervous about sharks. There's been a lot of signs and stuff, and I was talking to my my new roommate about it. So this is a uh, lucky charm. Her best friend gave her. She told me she wanted me to have it for the whole trip. So gotta keep it right here. Watch, it's probably gonna be my left leg that gets bit off. I promise I will take the time to write you nightly. I took you in with my ballpoint pen and help you fall asleep so gently now. You're sitting out there and you turn around and you, you just see these mountains just straight up come right out of the water and just covered in redwoods. From here on out, like, you know the water's gonna get slightly warmer and warmer and warmer and warmer. <laughs> I know one of the biggest things that was going through everybody's head is, you know, we, we've got sharks in our mind right now. Ah, you know what? Didn't even remember that my shoulder was hurt. Oh, when's the last time you just gave your underwear a really big whip? How are you feeling me? I'm getting naked. Goodbye. We're going to a um, shark petting zoo. Trev is going to shank a shark. shark while I film it. So when we get out into the ocean, we can have this with us and yeah, show, show any shark. sharks. Look at your friend in the shark tank zoo. That's pretty much our shark proof planning for the trip. Yeah, shark, yeah. shark, shark tank. Shark tank <laughs> All I could think about was sharks. It totally ruined my surf sessions. I need to go see one and get it out of my head. Well, I thought we were gonna get in there and there's just gonna be like an eight foot mako. We're gonna you know, full on get to pet this thing, and feed it a fish or something. But just a small little leopard, so whatever. They don't even have teeth. Okay, now you're totally comfortable for this trip, right? You're totally okay with sharks now, right? Well, it's fun now, but man, when you're paddling out and one of these comes up next to you, you go, huh. Thanks, man, I've never pet a shark before. There you go. <laughs> You guys are just in the middle of nowhere right now. <laughs> I just got two markers. Cause I got one right here, dude. If I and we have like 15 surfboards. Right here. <laughs> it was nice to get for everybody to get out and just go out and relax. Just go off and be on your own. Everybody's kind of getting out of their comfort zone more and more each day. But there will definitely be some cool outbursts on this trip. Dude. I had a bad sleep last night, but I'm over it. I'm ready to face the new day. Uh, hopefully we can catch some good surf today. We just need to get in the water for an hour or two, and then we can do what we need to do after that. We should check it out for like 10 more minutes. It's not consistent. All right, let's drive. waters and areas we don't know. I want to go out here. I think it's pretty nice. They had a car accident. It's one of those feelings. But fuck it. We're here to live life, right? <laughs> I'm not going to let that stop my fun. One out at 108. It's good, it's just really strong currents here, so paddle out's tough. 
And you definitely gotta be well conditioned and nowhere near well conditioned right now. racing games at the arcade. To these times when I'm going on like turns, I don't really have to, like, they're not enough to where I have to move my hand. But sometimes you'll get a big old lefty where you get to bust yeah. like this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was so nice that everyone was tired and just zonked out. I just got to drive the RV, just me and Kyle up in the front seat. Yeah, co-piloting with my brother. There's no other place I'd rather be right now. This is for serious when I feel the safest. We got each other's backs for life. Flip this RV, we're gonna barrel roll this RV into a ravine and we're gonna crash into a tree. We've got about four more seconds to make a decision. Just going from A, we're all dead, to B, we made it, and I, there's really no way to describe it. I fucking did it. Oh, thank God. It's a feeling, I guess, of just utter disbelief that you averted complete death. Thinking about Baby Nooch, thinking about my family, thinking about everything. And thinking this was, these are the last moments of my life. If we didn't turn there, we would have died. I was ready to jump out. Like, there's nothing else you can do. Like a weird nightmare kind of dream, but no, man, that's real life. I mean, yeah, I saw the end. I honestly thought, um, wow. And my little brother, Zachary, <laughs> it's his birthday tomorrow. I just didn't want to be the one that breaks his heart. The only thing I can think of is I have my brother sitting right to the right of me, my girlfriend sitting in the chair next to me, and then five of my best friends standing behind me with my back. If I'm gonna go out, that's the best way. I'm just trying to think about my family and um, my friends and my girlfriend. I mean, we'll take no, no one another could have done what you did in the moment that you did it. So when Adam had to crash into that wall to slow us down, I thought we were gonna break the entire back end of Hard Chillin'. I was thinking, great, what's happening now? What are we gonna do with the rest of the trip? Jeez, what a waste. You know, two days in and we're done. Two days and we're done. How the hell are we gonna finish this trip? 
That's yeah. fine. Guys, 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 everybody, hey, can please we just shut the on. fuck up. And when you're not talking, listen. We and are... then when you're talking, sorry, <laughs> talk. But if everybody talks over each other, nobody knows what the fuck is going on. Where are we gonna spend the time being? Who wants to go down the mountain? All of us made it through it. I mean, one easily could be gone right now. No problem. We're alive. We're all still friends. Everything's okay. So I want to say if we can't see our surfboards. Oh, yeah. so it's empty yes. Empty Everybody oh, deserves a fucking session yeah. tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, I'm just letting you know that I'm looking for some shops right now, and uh, we're having a little bit of trouble finding them. How does this happen? They don't have a tow truck to come get us? Or would that be okay to wait tomorrow? But I'm still going to be looking tonight. I'm just. Yeah, well, the repair can happen tomorrow, but we're currently just stopped in the middle of the road. There's no place to pull over or anything. I know I can't tow it back tonight, so it's not going to be happening tonight. Can you tow it down to the campground tonight? What you'll have to do is call back tomorrow and they'll come to help you because the nearest 3A approved is in um, Eureka. Close it's roughly weekend. 100 miles, but you need to call the shop. Yeah, thank you. All right, thank you. All right. Not looking good. Not looking good. Hey, uh, yeah. Doing okay. She's really nice. I mean, honestly, just she came at the right time in the right place, and thank God, you know, some people around here have some patience. All right, we should be ready in about uh, five five minutes. That's why she's gonna give a couple of our guys a ride down so they can maybe start this hotel motel process and something greater than our control kept us safe, kept the RV in one piece and got us here to a warm, sheltered place where we can enjoy another beer and another day of surf tomorrow. Here we are. Dude, this place is beautiful right now. Hi, Virginia? Yeah. How's it going? Uh, I was wondering if we could maybe get a couple rooms tonight. To all those places that we ain't been I love you Hey, well, Griffin and Haley finally made it to the party. All right, let's have a cheers to life, huh? Hey, this guy makes some good thoughts. We are not just metaphorically, but physically crashing the coast. Yeah. <laughs> I want to actually uh, raise the glasses one more time. Just, just two baby news. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Just to this man. Uh, to this man. Uh, I'm watching movie on TV tonight. Movie night. Day night. After all that, not even a swell. We gotta find a way out of here. Uh, yeah, we gotta sure. talk to locals and pay them a hundred bucks to get us a bucket of water. We live in the day. So what's the plan, Stan? We need to get the RV fixed and we need to get back on the road so that we can finish this trip. The cook told us about um, this thing called glazing. He basically said that our brake pads turn from wood, which can grab onto the side, we're good to go, to glass which just slides. Nobody's gonna be a hero in this situation. It's completely irresponsible to take it up over there with other people trying to make this hill as well. If we get a truck, then we're gonna go back and forth on this road, I guess, and, and take trips. <laughs> we need to get back on the phone with AAA and just tell them that it's happening. So, who's gonna find a ride into town? <clears throat> Adam and Haley are walking to get to the RV get it picked up by a tow truck. Kyle was gonna go get a rental car with Griffin and then come back. We were gonna load up all the boards and all the bags into the truck. So we left behind Ben and Trevor to watch over the gear and hopefully meet up with us later. We've been stuck in Shelter Cove and uh, we gotta get to the RV and apparently this is like one of the most friendly places. Somebody will pick you up, you guys can hitchhike, no problem. Friendliest people around, not one person has even slowed down. And uh, I'm pretty sure we've walked about a couple miles and I just got sight of our RV. Oh man, we still got some time to go. We finally made it up to the RV just in time to see the AAA guy there. And we get informed that he only has room for one person. That means 
I now am going with the rental car group, and we need to get 50 miles north to the nearest rental car place. Just as I was putting the RV on the tow truck, I saw that Kyle was able to flag someone down to give him a ride in the town. A random girl from North Carolina that was out here just visiting showed up. Well, here's our, our angel for the day. Yep. Let's give her a little. Thank you so much. <laughs> Taking us up to a Enterprise. Enterprise or some kind of rental car company. And then Ben Bong, Trav, and Brando are back at the hotel. Oh, Trevor and I were just kind of hanging out in this tiny little town doing nothing. Uh, waiting for Kyle and Griffin to show up in that truck and load up the gear. I was in the tow truck towing the RV. It was absolutely insane what we had to go through and what I realized I had driven through to get where we were. We get all the way to Fortuna just to find out that the rental car place we were looking for had closed two years ago. So we gotta text Trevor and Ben and let them know, hey, find your own way out because we're not gonna be able to pick you up. And now Trevor and I have to hitchhike out of Shelter Cove with board bags and everyone else's bag. And we sat right there at the entrance. I would just sit there with Ben and we'd smile at people with our sign like this. So after like an hour, the panic really started to set in for me and Ben like, okay, we need to get out of here. We were wondering what Hard Chillin' is doing. Adam actually gets dropped off by the tow truck at the brake place, which was only a block away from where we were trying to rent a truck. I was so glad to see that Adam and the RV had made it back safely. I was really curious how we were gonna get Benjabong and Trevor out of Shelter Co. Bye! <laughs> we, just, we just packed all our stuff up in that girl's car and now she drove her away. These two ladies come and are willing to load us up in one car and load our boards and everyone else's bags into another car. It, it, it was amazing to see these two women come and save us, really. We just got into the car for the car ride that we're gonna get up to Garberville. On we go. Alrighty. Oh, Donna's just playing tricks with us now. Look at, look at, look at, what's our issue coming by right here? We're, we're in dry heaving. <laughs> and then I see you sitting down here, I'm like, holy crap. This, I'm having so much fun with you guys. <laughs> so I got a text from Haley that said hard chilling was fixed. Alright, All right. thank you so much. Yep. Let's get out of here. Our fluid didn't even get broken. Wait, we just paid 20 bucks? No, we paid nothing, zero. But why does it say? That's just what it normally cost, but their deal is free right now. We were glazed! I thought our RV was done, and we were gonna have to take the train the whole way down the PC. Dude, yesterday, you were telling me that we were gonna be back in the RV in Fortuna. Wouldn't go for it. Life is an adventure. Live it till you die. Yeah. Hard chilling was a complete disaster. We spent like an hour cleaning the RV, got it back to normal, and we were back in business. I was just so anxious to see them again. I have never wanted to hug my brother more. Just as we finished cleaning up the RV, Haley got a call from Trevor saying they were around the corner. Not it's her birthday time. today. Hey, you know what? Thank you. Oh, Thank you for giving up your birthday to help us. It was so great to see the RV and the rest of the crew waiting for Trevor and I and us unloading all the boards out of Don's car. All of us had just completed our goal for the day, so no one had failed. Yeah, it was good to see like no one really giving up. Everyone actually stuck with it because we didn't want to let each other down. We were really at the hands of strangers. There's no way this trip would have gone on without the help of other people. We owe you the world. John, thank you so much again. Happy birthday. We decided the only thing we could do was move forward. So we took off to the next county. I couldn't believe we were all back together, back in Hard Chillin', and then this trip was going to happen. Since we made out of Shelter Co, I've been saving this for a special occasion. I'm going to show you how to open a bottle of wine. Nope. With a shoe. Open the spout. Yeah. We do this with a the bottle of the That is. Ah! I don't know what's happen. So now pull it out, bro. No way. Here it is. Oh, no way. Oh! 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 You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> it really took its toll on all of us. I mean, Emotions were high already because of Shelter Cove, but now that we're trying to play catch up and get to our county sooner and sooner and sooner, 
It's really just emotions are on the table. After that whole incident in Shelter Cove, like we deserved a good session of surfing. And I got really excited when we came up to Mendocino at the, the trestle break. It, the waves actually looked really good from shore, but as soon as you start paddling out there, you realize it's a whole windswell, just six, seven foot faces and just huge rip currents and can't even sit still out there. And it was a really hard wave. Uh, I'm a little bit upset right now that I didn't get one wave in Mendocino. And them's the breaks. Oh, I just want to go on some playful little waves, and ride this little board. I guess we went out at the complete and utterly horrible time ever. Yeah, to top off the insane windswell, the fog rolled in, and you couldn't even see 100 feet in front of you. We all had to get out. Oh, it wasn't too good of a surf session. So I think the plan is now to go abalone diving. This is the weapon you guys are going to be using. <laughs> Uh, they, have to be they have to be seven inches at least. What are the chances of us actually getting abalone today? Uh, you think it's pretty good chance. <laughs> Let's get suited up. We'll go get the tags and we'll do some abalone diving. You can only abalone dive north of San Francisco. So I was really excited to go. Finally got out there and water was a little murky, a lot of seaweed and stuff. Uh, Benjamin came out about 45 minutes later. It was a struggle for me to put on all the gear that was needed to get out there. By the time I got out into the water, everyone was around the corner and I, I had no clue really where to go. He made it, don't judge him. We were out there for about an hour and I hadn't caught anything. We were having a tough time. I really started to wonder what Kyle and Trevor were doing. I just like physically could not do it. It was so frustrating. Just the water pressure, I felt like my ears were gonna pop. I was gonna head it in, we got one. <laughs> not bad, better than none. And I figured I'll do one or two more dives. Yeah, dude, that's a winner. <laughs> that's a winner, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Tag him and bag him. Blake, dude. Thanks for taking us out, man. That was so much fun. We got two. Right on. Let's go have some beers, dude. Let's go relax. I was so bummed out I didn't get an abalone. Adam got one. I'm never going to forgive myself. Hey, who hunts rock? We're going north so that we can surf Salmon Creek, where the Great White rating is up to 10. That sounds like probably the smartest thing we can do right now. How faster and be scared for your life the whole day. <laughs> I'm ready for the fucking chill day. You won't see me in the water. You're right now, what I would seriously like is to skip this county and go down to- So no surfing cinema, that's what I would like. That's what I'm putting on the table. Okay. We'll have Brando set a timer for an hour. If that would make people feel better about getting things on track. I really just would love not to skip a county. More importantly, like in this whole thing, I have not had one fucking moment to chill. I've been moving, 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 moving. Okay. We will be there by two. Is that okay with you? If I'm the only person, then yeah. All right, driver. Surfing. We haven't surfed Sonoma. We have to surf it. But yeah, no one's surfing. Rappy, rappy, rappy! Kyle's my friend and all, and I get where he's coming from. I definitely think that he's just a little bit more traumatized than anybody else of, about hard chilling and the way it drives. But we are on this trip to surf every county. We were talking with a guy, he was surfing down here, a guy who was boogie boarding and got bit by a great white out here. 100 plus stitches on his side. So that's definitely like a cool thought to have in your head when you're going out. Dude, already saved my life once, so it's going back out again. <laughs> Look at the Tomahawk boy.
fun little wave. But we made this deal with Kyle where we were only gonna surf for an hour and then move down to the next county. It's nice waves, you know. Paddle out there is kind of tough. You get out there and then uh, fall down some faces. We were really pushing ourselves really, really hard like the first four or five days doing this. I was stoked to be back on schedule. Everyone comes all over the world to see the Golden Gate Bridge, and I wanted to skateboard across that thing. Golden Gate, skateboards, they're out of here. Skaters, go! It was actually perfect out. Sunny, no fog at all. Just looking at Alcatraz and all the amazing people walking across the, the bridge. There's nothing better than that. Yeah, sometimes I make things up so people feel safe. Yeah, that guy's working. Yeah, let's go. What's the good news? There's four chicks in bikinis right there in the pool. What's the better news? It's four foot and the waves are right there. No way. Yeah. Is it just dumping right now? Yeah, get your board. Are you kidding me? everyone hanging out and laughing at each other falling and bailing in the two and a half feet of water. It was great. <laughs> There's not to love about that. Just being the only ones out having not a worry in the world. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna... Pacifico was really fun. That was a great day. Two days ago, I guess, there was a great white out here chomping on a seal, like right in front of the Taco Bell. Serving Pacifica was great. It's like, after spending so much time out of the water because of my hernias, I'm remembering how to surf. It's really just all about being in the moment and enjoying what you have around you. You're constantly striving to try and perfect an unperfectable sport. To share surfing with my friends really makes you want to be as involved in their lives and always spend time with them as much as you can. It's the ultimate peace and serenity for me. It comes back to a theory that I have that motion is life, because to be static is just to die. Well, surfing is one of those things where you can get out there and just kind of lounge around and just have fun with it. Out there. Yeah. I can't say who had the best one, but Kyle what? What? snaked what? Adam and jumped off his board, but when he jumped off, the board bounced up and Adam caught it. It was like, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> While Kyle and the crew were unloading the boards, Griffin and I checked out the surf at Half Moon Bay, and it was shorebreak. So we grabbed the skin boards. Just met up with some locals. We're going to see uh, if they can teach us anything. Kind of fun just to have everyone there at the beach at one time. Those waves were like 
like running straight into a Honda Civic driving at you. They hurt. I got a pretty sick, uh, sick air, but uh, it probably would have hurt really bad, but my neck kind of took most of the fall, so it saved my body from getting really hurt. Antiquated by an oblique fashion trend Thrift shopping is a guilty rapture Waves here suck. You guys wanna get up and go to Mavs? Let's see it, Mavs. Why would we ever go to Mac? You guys don't wanna see it? No, really. It's a lake. It's like whale farts out there. Have you ever seen it? What? Yeah, I've seen it. It's a lake. You've seen it on, what, pictures? Yeah. Google Maps? Yeah. You guys are dream killers, you guys know that? Yes! Where did you find it? <laughs> so ridiculous. <laughs> Just me? Nobody else has... Sherman's got it. Get that fucking camera out of my goddamn face! Santa Cruz, my hometown. It was the first place I surfed, and I wanted to go back and surf again. I was excited to get on some good shaped waves, but when we showed up, total buzzkill, there were no waves at all. We'll just keep watching tides. I think now we should go to the boardwalk and ride some bumper cars. All right, let's go. Testing one, two, three. Why can't we just play all day? Let the pieces Or is it it's oh, power? Strength. Yeah, punch the yeah. All right, Kyle, let's yeah. see it. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, yeah, dude. Uh, Never. Go. Oh, nice. Oh, I Yeah, I grew up with Haley and Trevor, so I'm not surprised that uh, Haley's way stronger than Trevor. Rebuttal. I think it was just good for the crew. We just kind of let loose and acted like our real age is like 12, <laughs> and uh, had some fun at the boardwalk. Laugh and smile brights up the darkest room And that sweet scent of June sends your body up to the moon And the constellation stops like the, the fastest go-karts on the planet The planet? These are like so fast, ready? Here we go Watch the speed I bought a six dollar tall boy You know? Snuck it onto the bumper cars Get out there, set it down I think it was Griffin that just hit me, like right off the bat, and the beer just goes clunk, and I forget all about it. And I'm like, all oh, right, here we go, bumper cars, yeah. Spilled that shit, shut the ride down. Ruined all the fun for everybody. Some kids even told us that we suck. I'm coming to see you. Yeah. Good, this is fun. I'm really happy to see my family. Ben's uh, girlfriend just cause a surprise and he has no clue. So we're gonna see what he does. The crew was ready to have the surprise for Chargan and it was worth the moment. <gasps>
<laughs> oh my gosh, this is happening and I was just so excited. So what was the one thing that could've made today better? <laughs> that was it. Okay. Ah. No. Other side did This is what's up. This is what's up. When everyone went to the campsite, I, you know, I stayed behind and wanted to spend the night with her. People weren't really stoked about that. They wanted to keep the group together. What it comes down to it is that we're on a vacation, we're on a surf trip, we're on a 14 day surf excursion, right? And we're all kind of pissed off that our group is spreading out and that's not what we originally planned, so. I mean, I just miss him. I really do miss him as being a part of the group and being a part of the trip. Honestly, missing out on a lot of the, the bonding, the friendship, the camaraderie that does come along with just sharing these experiences. Whoa! <laughs> that shit's lit. <laughs> it was actually nice to sleep in a bed last night. I was new. And it's, this whole trip has just been one draining night after another and when we party and stay up late and get up early, it starts to take a toll on your body, but we're doing, today is looking very minimal and wave size, so we're going to try and compensate by at least getting in the water because we got to at least make an effort. We're not going to say shark, we're not going to yell shark, but we're just going to yell at Ben, insinuating that there's something out there that we don't want hit him next to, so we're going to yell at him. Ben! 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 And then all of a sudden these like two seals pop up right behind him. And running batteries all night, baby. Killing the batteries in the Guess morning. we're not skydiving. That's that. I made a deposit. I'm walking. Ask people for a jump. Do you have jump? Yeah, yeah, yes, please. Thank you so much, man. What, what a clutch situation that you were just happening to walk by and heard the. Oh, I'm sure there's lots. <laughs> <laughs> so they just told us that it's official, not going to happen today, the weather is not getting any better, so we are going to surf and then come here and be the first ones in line tomorrow in anticipation to go. It's just a big bummer, that's all it is, it's just when there's no surf and there hasn't been surf for a while, it seems like the crew uh, loses their thunder, loses their happiness, and loses everything that they got. And right now, I feel like we're in a big lull. I feel like, I feel like this trip hasn't fulfilled my surfing need like I thought it would. I keep telling myself the next county is going to be better, and the next county is going to be better, and the next county is going to be better. But it just, it really doesn't seem to get any better. Up north, we struggled for surf, and down here, we're just barely finding it. Like right now, we wanted to go do a sunset surf session. And it's not happening, which sucks. His uh, shoulders hurt way too much to go out and paddle in this garbage. I don't know. I feel like we lost the spirit. I agree with you on that one. Just, I would, these are going to be so stupid, but who cares? We're all together. That's all that matters. I'm going to go surf for an hour.
got a distance to the south Below what used to be the sea There's a home, but the cars won't run And the sky won't breathe The wind turn, turn it on Gotta turn, turn it on, turn it on, on I know the group mentality goes like this. Why are we surfing? This is horrible. This is supposed to be a surf trip. There's no surf. What's going on? Oh, bicker this, bicker this. Oh, the RV broke down, da, da, da. And then all of a sudden they're surfing. It's like, yeah, everyone's back to it. Like it was nothing. Anything that goes wrong on this trip, if we have good surf, it, it'll fix all wounds. Are yeah. we yeah. happy? Rappy, rappy, rappy. <laughs> yeah, so we're here today. We're going to jump, skydive. I was absolutely pumped for this. I mean, Keanu Reeves did it, hello. Dude, I just figured if I'm gonna die, I wanna look sweet. Hey, do you think we could pay Chargan's skydiving instructor to do that? Even, but like, Dude, the chute's not opening! You just... Brace yourself! Going up in the plane was like the first moment of realization. It was like, yeah. This is happening. So I'm sitting there and the guy's giving me directions again on what to do. And I'm just thinking, please don't let this plane crash. That door comes open, the wind hits your face and it's just like, yes. Why am I so nervous? I've done this before. I wanted to embrace the moment that I was in. I was breathless standing at that door of the airplane. 100% pure adrenaline. My heart's just going doo -doo 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 -doo. Like I just kept thinking about the point break line I wanted to quote because I thought everyone else was going to do it. Middle hand says it's time to rock and roll. I really don't remember what happened. I kind of blacked out. Let this dude, dog. yeah, because I'm just gonna oh, fucking here before I go out, because I'm not gonna drive for a bit. Yeah. You drink beer before you go like hardcore paddling and stuff? Yeah. Don't you?
for the day. Mm. It's just what we do. You know, gotta know what you respect, what you protect. Yeah, everything she just said. Good morning. <laughs> before they come back. Then that's what's going <laughs> Yeah, that's so cool. We are at Refugio State Beach in Santa Barbara County, California. It's a really fun spot uh, as far as like beach community, surf. It's very few and far between to find good surf here. Dude, we can skimboard here, right? Yeah. Or we can just actually hard chill. It might be nice. There's a bee in my pocket, and I put my hand in my pocket, and that motherfucker stung me. I'm like, Kyle, Kyle, I've never used this before. I've never had to use it, but let's let's try this out. So it's kind of like this syringe suction cup looking thing. You put it on the knuckle, and it's supposed to pull out all the venom. Real, it feels really weird. <laughs> Little bee sting. The kid got stung by a bee. Pick these up from base before I left. And this is what you ate in Iraq? It tastes like dog food. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty good. You could probably eat it though. I mean, maybe that's why they oh. gave me Tabasco. Oh, <laughs> that's not bad. When are you not on the phone? You guys all got your click. I got my wait, phone. Wait, wait. The last thing Kyle saw of you last night was yeah, you on the phone, and then the first thing he sees of you <laughs> in the morning is you on the phone. Sure, I was in like, between the calls. Oh, I, I solve world problems, man. <laughs> that's all I'm asking. There's no, there's no hunger in Ethiopia anymore. I, I don't know, like what to think. Is it this bad when he's at work? Like, what does he do when he's at work? Like, how bad is that? Heard about Surfer's Point. So we go and we check it out. We park at these trees and we look. A couple signs up by the gate were saying that you can be sighted and towed. Last thing I want to deal with is being towed. Like, Griffin and I really don't think about consequences as serious as other people do on this trip. Right? They have no idea how hard it is to organize eight people on a trip with as much that we're doing. We do push our buttons sometimes and we, you know, we're a bunch of dudes. Maybe the worst thing we do is get a ticket, but there is a sign that says you can be towed. So. I want to be there just as bad, but I'm like, I don't want to come back to find out the RV is not here. I'm just trying to make sure that everything goes smoothly. And she's sticking with us, so it's like we, I don't want to say we take her for granted, but I don't think she feels the appreciation, you know, for what she does. She does a lot for us, for sure. Finally, like, there's some people that are like, no, no, you probably won't get a ticket, and puts my head at ease for at least the surf session. And we have a blast. Oh, it's fun. Glad we went out there. It's cool, I mean, you know, win-win without getting a ticket and no tow. I mean, fuck, it's perfect. Our <laughs> goal, yes. Break place we can go to. All right, I got economy, muffler, and brake. Is that it? 
And at that point, and with what had happened at Shelter Cove, I don't want to chance it anymore. So we decided to go get the brakes checked out. I couldn't even believe the brakes were broken again. We're trying to surf 14 counties in 14 days. That's a pretty big thing to take on. We all let everyone chill and we all kind of let everyone feel their space, but we were all together. You want to know what you can do? How many times have I told you? How many times have I told you? It's up to you. You want to know how... Yo, what the fuck, man? <laughs> Where is it? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to do a push in on your face like you're driving, okay? Ready? Go to hell, bitch. Finally, they were fixed, and we got our butts back on the road. And it was a last minute decision on the trip, racing some go-karts. A racing school that people take to become Formula One race car drivers. Ben wants to be <laughs> a race car driver. No one's gonna come close to me on the racetrack. I am the best driver. There's no doubt that you'll see my name next to that number one. I was born to kick some ass. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh no, they're going the wrong way! <laughs> run out there and tell them to turn around. <laughs> we end up not making a turn on the track. People run over all these cones. People are crashing all of a sudden. Ridiculous. I've never seen that before. Pretty impressive. Someone ran out and was like, no way, Trevor got first. More than the surprise of me losing is that Trevor won. I don't think the kid even has a valid driver's license. In the morning when I woke up the next day, my hand was giant. It was huge. Lived it. What the I'm sucking all of the juice out of my hand right now, I think. Oops, stop. We got up in Ventura and we took off down the road to find surf. And the last spot we could go was County Line. Well, you can carve my name into your copper trees, but I can walk just barely, I can walk just barely. to be back to a familiar place. And we pull up down the road and I started noticing these people in some familiar shirts. And sure enough, it's my family. Seeing my family there was a giant surprise. When we pulled up, it felt good to see our family, just to know that we have people behind us on this trip, and supporting what we do. I'm excited to be here. It's probably a good little mix up for the last couple days of the trip, just to be comfortable for a day and a couple hours and smiles, smiles. <laughs> Well, you can carve my name into your copper trees, but I can walk just barely, I can walk just barely.
Hey, I'm Brett. This is my roommate and one of my best friends, Blake Henderson. I tagged Hard Chillin'. Right here. You're looking at the artist's signature edition. That's my baby. I mean, the right one's big, but it's come on, bad. pussy. Just waiting. In. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was a little too much. It. <laughs> Look at that fat hand over his head. Okay. <laughs> I think we're done. <laughs> I do bang. what the doctor says. More bang. What do you see, think, Doc? I'm tracing. If you guys notice, I'm tracing the vibrations to, to see where the fluid is. See how there are no <laughs> vibrations here? You can see the vibrations here, and the vibrations stop, meaning there's no fluid here. So you're good. We're at the same point as yesterday. <laughs> I'm getting kind of tired just being on the road in general and feeling like I'm a little bit left out of everything so I get pushed away from the group and I go to my phone. I can't be a dick to all of you all the time so I got my farts to make up for it. All of you guys! Wow. They were all just dick. fucking picking on me. I'm the fucking outcast. You separated yourself from the group yeah, the whole time. in that position. I would be on my phone occasionally, and you guys would make fun of me for that, so it just drove me away from you further. Who else am I gonna talk to? Because you guys are assholes. Now let's start from farting. <laughs> it does wear on me, but I'll just... Oop. I'll just uh, make my way through it, I guess. And uh, I know people were saying that I'm on my phone a lot, and I am. I. Uh, I definitely think I have an addiction to my phone. Uh, this guy in the red truck over here, he drove by and he was like... So we pop off to check out what it was. So I'm peeing in this alley and there's this board next to me. Ugly foam pink board that is pretty much falling apart. Pass it up. Up she goes. We got ourselves a water angel. Water angel. Water angel. Water. This is cool. That's like the coolest thing that's happened. Uh, yeah. I'm not touching that thing. It's got AIDS. Today, I think, is the second day we've had sunlight, so pretty good not surfing in like overcast and cloudy areas. It doesn't seem cold, it's nice and warm. The water is amazing. You don't even have to uh, suit up for it. Just go in board shorts and Oh you can rock my world with your smile to see your face. I walk a country mile now that I'm here. I like to stay a while. I wanna love you, girl. I really love you, wanna love you, girl. I'll place no one above you. Won't you be my queen? We'll live in harmony. And when that grace gets hard, and home seems so very far, oh, I just close my eyes. Yeah, these things have a net on the inside. Wow, what's up, 1992? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> What's it taste like? Coconut? <laughs> What's it so taste like? Meat. Tastes like beef. Like beef jerky. Yeah. I don't like coconut. The last day. <laughs> Trestles. San Diego. TK is a buddy of mine, and so he just showed up at the campsite. He's a brand new surfer. He actually bought a Costco board and broke it in half. And so now he's riding a boogie board, but we might let him use the pink one. I was really excited to go to Trestles. It's one of those surf spots everyone hears about and knows about.
last county to surf, the last session. Finally got to chill for a bit. We got the waves that we were gonna get at Trussell's. Now, let's just chill on the beach. I think everyone was just realizing like, we don't have to surf anymore for this trip and we were just so exhausted. It felt really good to lie down and in sand and just pass out. We have done this roller coaster of an adventure down California. We've surfed our hearts, we've lived our hearts, we've just made the most of what we could on this trip. And everybody just laid down and shut down physically, emotionally, mentally, and I think that's what we needed. And I don't really think anyone actually wanted to make the trek all the way down to San Diego if we weren't gonna surf again. But we had to get down there to go to the LRO event in the morning. There was nothing else we could do. We got back in the RV and we headed off down to Mexico. Catatonic shot beneath the cliff Where mountains turn to sand And broken hourglass plants Ever will I All that! Woo! All the time to this, huh? And everyone was just ready to sleep, so we went to our campsite right after that. So we're at our, our last campsite down in uh, southern San Diego and we all get locked in. The exit is closed till 8 in the morning and we had to leave for the LRO event at 6.30. Super stressed because now we're going to be late to the Life Rolls On event. Just let her know we're still coming. Yeah. We'll be there as soon as we can. It begins at 7. It doesn't start till 8.30. I'm assuming whoever shows up. It's like, okay, you're going to go first. You're going to go first. We'll just be last. It just sucks because now we're going to be there longer and the group was tired. We were drained, we were bummed, and we were just ready to be done. The one thing that I was bummed out about was when we found out we were gonna be late to the event. We go in to help somebody. I hate being the person who's like, who looks like they're half-assing helping. No matter what happens, the fact that someone had this crazy idea and then we all are actually doing it is just an accomplishment. And now the fact that we've actually done it. Hey guys, is everybody happy? Happy, happy, happy. I'm trying to find Adam directions to go to La Jolla so we can do Life Rolls On, which is an organization that takes people with spinal cord injury, and today they're taking them surfing. I don't think everyone's really in the mood for this right now, but I'm hoping that when I get there, I'm hoping it'll change my mood. I think it'll, I think it'll be cool. Luckily, we showed up just in time. Yeah, I'm Sarah. Ben. Oh, hi, Ben. Nice, nice to meet you, Ben. Oh, it's been a trip. Was it awesome? I was camping last night. Uh, <laughs> Frustrating, yeah, we were running around trying to get people to unlock gates and it's pretty exciting. I've never done anything like this before. It's kind of new to me. We rolled up and they told us to get in our wetsuits. We got in our wetsuits. They gave us a quick safety meeting. Life rolls on! I was a little bit nervous, you know, just like how's it going to work with all these people? I have fun. I, I like to joke around. I'll be out there singing <laughs> because a lot of times you since they're like, you know, they're kind of like scared. Cool. And I try to ease that with just being a smart ass. Okay. Yeah, I was just a little nervous about everything. I didn't know. Let's do this. How is this gonna happen? It's a lot of people working together. You basically have the people on the beach that are loading the uh, the person up onto the surfboard. We paddle them out there and then you would get them out to the back and then they we'd pick the wave for them. Push the person in. Three, two, one, and then we just push them down this wave. And as soon as they come in, drop in, and they realize that what's going on, they light up, and they just got this glow on their face, a smile from ear to ear, and it's just like, wow. Like, I remember that feeling that when I first caught a wave.
every time she was just doing the same thing over and over, but she was having so much fun. You know, it wasn't about us. It was just about being there. Yeah, that was probably the happiest I've ever seen our whole crew. Like everybody was having a blast. I mean, I think I was having more fun than some of the guys surfing today. It changed our crew to night and day. It was incredible. It was so good. I just wanted to keep doing it. I just wanted to keep getting them out there. What's happening right now out in the water is honestly one of the coolest things I've ever been a part of. Things that make me happy as I've ever been, like I'm getting that through them. Seeing them feel what I always feel when I go out in the water. There's this kid, Leland, and he just had the biggest smile on his face when he was coming down the wave. We're coming out there filming and we we're telling him, say I'm surfing, he's just, oh, so cool. yeah. Yeah. I felt like me and him had a connection. Corey lets go of the board and Leland's just going in and all of a sudden you just see the board turn sideways. And Adam was right next to him and so he picked him up. And then I, I had him in my hand and he looked up at me and he was just like, whoa, wipe out. He had no control over anything yet. He was so willing to let it go. And like, I know that's so, that's such a rare thing. It's a lesson that we can all learn that you can do that. It's okay, it's all right. You don't have to be so shut in. It's great to just, let go. I think they're catching some better waves than most of us have been catching this whole trip. So, well, this is this is kind of what it's about, man. Surfing. So, I mean, it's one of the most amazing things you can feel. We helped that experience occur in someone else's life. Fun to be out in the water and be out with people who appreciate surfing as much as you do. Nothing is going to beat that feeling. Just being able to help other people. I mean, life rolls on. I started that like yeah. ten years ago, right before turning professional surfing, and and I broke my neck. Every surfer knows about how beautiful it is and how independent and free and just how beauty, beautiful it is to be in the water and one with nature. And it keeps you alive on your toes, always keep, you know, thinking about where you need to be. It was all because of him and that felt really good to meet him. So that was cool. Life rolls on! <laughs> Life is precious and our abilities in this world are precious that we have them. and. We need to use them to our fullest, and I think that's what we did on this trip. When we were in a hole, other people around us stepped up to the plate, and that's, that's awesome. At the beginning of this trip, we were really at the hands of strangers. That's what happened on our last day. We helped strangers, and they were in our hands trusting us to get back and follow their dreams. Changed my attitude on surfing just to try to have like aloha spirit and be happy for people. And this trip reminded me how much fun you can have with just your friends. You need to take advantage of the things that you have because you know someday things might be gone. It didn't matter to me that we didn't surf as much as I would have liked. I had so much fun with these people on this trip. I will remember this forever. The whole trip we were searching and searching and searching for the best waves and trying to get these waves and we couldn't find them. We tried so hard to get them to be happy or whatever we were searching for, we were trying. And in the end, we go and help and volunteer for this organization and that's when we find the happiness that we've been looking for. But at the end of the day, but at the end of the day,
That's Cali for you.